Today's focus, multiplication strategies. Here to the left, we have one strategy that may be familiar to many of you, the traditional algorithm. However, according to Common Core, elementary age students won't be exposed to this strategy until they reach the fifth grade. So if your child is in third or fourth grade, they will be taught other strategies such as decomposing numbers, partial products, and our focus today, the area model. So let's get into it. Here we have 36 times four. We will begin by breaking up the 36 into smaller, friendlier numbers that will make it easier to multiply. Now parents, keep in mind, remind your child that factors can be broken up in many different ways to make partial products, which are then combined. For example, with the 36, we could make 30 plus 6 or 20 plus 16 or 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6. All of these combinations would work. However, you want to make sure that you teach your child to break the factors up by decades to make it easier for mental math computation. Although we have several options as to how to break up the 36, I'll go with 30 plus 6. This will make for easier mental math computation. Now that I have decided how I want to break up my 36, it is time to make my area model. This area model only requires two columns and one row because I broke up my 36 into 30 plus 6 and then one row for the 4. Now I am ready to multiply. I multiplied 4 times 30, which gives me 120, and 4 times 6, which gives me 24. Now that I have multiplied, I am ready for part 3, adding the partial products, 120 and 24, which equals 144. So I know that 36 times 4 equals 144. Let's try another problem. This time, we will multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number. 426 times 5. Before we create our area model, we must first break up the 426 into smaller numbers that will make it easier to multiply. Parents, don't forget to remind your child that there's more than one way that 426 can be divided up into. For this example, I've chosen 420 and 6. So what I've chosen to do is to simply represent the value of each digit. 4 in the hundreds, 400, 2 in the tens, 20, 6 ones, 6. Now that I have broken 426 apart, I am ready for step two, and that's to multiply. And I will do that by creating my area model. For this area model, I've created three columns and one row because I broke up 426 into 420 and six, three different numbers, Therefore, I need three separate columns. And since I did not decompose or break apart the five, I simply need one row. Now, I am ready to move on to step two, and that is to multiply. I will multiply five times 400 plus five times 20 plus five times six. Once I am done multiplying, I am now ready for part three, which is to add the partial products. I'm going to add 2,000 plus 130. When adding the numbers, you can add them mentally, or if you choose, line it up vertically. Just keep in mind, when lining up your numbers, Line it up according to place value, ones, tens, 
hundreds, and thousands. Here I have the total 2,130. Therefore, I know that 426 times 5 equals 2,130. Now, parents, it's your turn to try. In order to help your child, you must have an understanding of it too. But you're not alone, so there's no need to fret. I have for you a review sheet, or what teachers like to call an anchor chart. Here we have examples of just how to multiply using the area model. And if you take a look, we have an example of multiplying a four-digit number by a one-digit number. So parents, why not give it a try? And make sure to comment down below letting me know how it worked out for you. Be on the lookout for more videos similar to this one. Next week, I'll be covering multiplication two by two-digit numbers using partial products.